In this video, I'm going to create a quick and easy tag utilizing my gel press to create the background, a couple of stencils, and a little twig out of my yard. So I appreciate you joining me. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, your likes and comments benefit me as well, and I do really appreciate those. And the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. I am creating this card or this tag out of just white cardstock. I'm cutting two pieces, three and a half inches by seven inches, and just uh, six and a half inches, I'm sorry, two, three and a half inches by six and a half inches. And I am utilizing my template that I've created here to lop off the corners to create that tag look. We'll measure quickly to get the true center and come back in with my little ID tag punch to put a hole there at the top of the tag. We'll be gluing the two pieces together to create a sturdier tag. That's why I cut the two. And now let's pull out that gel press and decorate. I have cold gray which is my favorite color at the time. And I just received this stencil from Stencil Girl. So let's try this out. Pushing my tag down on the cold gray after applying the stencil. And I think that turns out quite nice. So let's do another coat of the cold gray paint. Put the mark with the stencil. And I'm laying that sheet down to avoid getting something on the back. I think this one turned out a little dark, so I'm going to add some titanium white, utilize that stencil once again, and just lighten up the back side of this. And you can see I just pushed down the top into the white, so I didn't push the whole card down. Some gray. This is a dark gray. And I'm thinking about what stencil I want to use. I'm going to pull in this little random little squares. And I just want that to be in the corners. So I'm just pushing my tag down where I want that to appear. I have, again, another new stencil from Stencil Girl that came in this monthly package. And I am utilizing the background here and putting it up the side. We'll aid that drying with a little heat gun and we'll put the definition in with some texture paste. But I want that texture paste to be a little darker. So I am going to pull in a darker color. and mix that texture paste in. And the texture paste is lightening the color. I pulled in a black, but it's with the white, it's just creating a lighter version or a grayish, dark grayish color with the texture paste, which is fine. So let's pull that stencil back. Let's cover up where the other holes are so we don't accidentally get into those with the texture paste and just take that credit card or that hotel key card and swish this over the top of that stencil. And there we go. We have our definition and texture along the edge of this card. And I like that. So let's set that aside and let it dry. I have these branches that I had pulled some leaves off of that I used. So I thought I'd See if I could incorporate those. I'm going to pull the black in and just paint these black. And it, I will wrap white eyelash trim around them. And there you can see the eyelash trim. And I was going to tie all three of them together, but I don't think that's going to work out well. So we may just use one and I wind up pulling the eyelash trim off one and putting it from top to bottom instead of just at the top. So we've set that aside. We'll come back to it. 
putting a face on the other side, a little with the texture paste. Still trying to decide where I can incorporate my little tag, but I think it needs a little more something else. So I have this stencil that I want to pull some additional black in. So we'll just put that down the edge here. And I like to do it in threes. So there's my third. And we'll use that same paint on the makeup sponge and just go around the outside edge to give that some definition. We'll let that dry, flip it over, and frame the other side with the black as well. And I went to put some of that black mark making on the back of this one also. Let's get that in the odd number there. Well, I wound up just doing two, didn't I? All right. Now to decide where to put this guy. And I was going to, to lace him on by punching holes through my card. But when I decided where I wanted to put him, when I flipped the card over, I would be lacing through the face of my mask on the back. So didn't think that would work. So we are going to glue. We pull some glitter glue and just put a nice line. We'll hold this in place until it dries and this glitter glue holds like crazy. So I'm not worried about that because you have all that eyelash trim that is attaching as well as the twig. And for the top of the tag, I'm going to pull some of that thread, some eyelash trim, and position that. I think it needs a little more eyelash trim. So we'll come back with a second piece and go through that once again. And now I'm just going to tie this thread into a little bow here at the top. And that, I believe, completes this card. So I think this turned out, you know, for a quick and easy project, it turned out um, fairly nice. I'm going to take a little picture of my tag, or I'm not sure what I was doing there, but in any event, it required the cell phone. So this is a finished piece. Just a very easy, very simple little tag that you can tuck down inside your journal or your art project, and away we go. My name again is Peg, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. I've linked a playlist up above that is a gel press playlist if you would like to capture some gel pressed ideas. Thanks for stopping by. Bye for now.